We welcome you inside Oak Street Park. Some double-A baseball coming at you. It's the Biloxi Shuckers and the Chattanooga Lookouts. Just about set. Our starter in this one, Lion Richardson. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. And he drops it down the third baseline. Whips it to first on the run. Out number three. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. Bottom half of inning number one coming up. The Shuckers on top here, two to nothing. And stepping in is the speedy number 12. Jackson Chorio. Here comes the 0-1. This to third. Sneaks through, base head. He needed that one. It's been a tough stretch. And welcome Ooh, back. Here's Where's the third the baseman, Jacob Davis. The, baseman. the pitch. Jacob. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. This place is absolutely loving it. And they slice into the lead. It's 2-1. One. one pitch, one swing, one home run. Yeah, you can say that's efficiency right there. Didn't need much time in the box to make an impact. Chris, that ball came out hot. So let's see what StatCast has to say. Yeah, it really did, Boog. 111 miles per hour off the bat and a really nice launch angle as well. Just a beautiful swing from start to finish. Down the third baseman, Jacob Davis. Baseman. He's already homered here in this one. And first offering is fouled off. You know, this group of hitters doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. And here's a stat for you, Boog. They're making contact with more than 85% of the pitches that they're swinging at. It's pretty special stuff. Not so good if you're out there on the mound. Here's a rocket out to left. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about. Now and now, Jacob Davis. Baseman. He's already yeah. homered in this game. Oh, big guy. Number 91 on the move. Reaches out for it, but can't make the play. And it drops foul in the corner. Oh, and one now. Fought off foul. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. And it's gone. He made him pay for that one. His second home run of the game, and they add a couple more. It's 8-6. Zingy, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he is really seeing the ball well in this one. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a lot. Now batting. So now it's the four-hole hitter, Jacob Davis. He's already homered twice, the last one back of the fifth. Just seems like he can't miss right now, seeing the baseball as well as anyone on the field. Now, I know the odds are against him, but who's going to bet against this guy right now? Swung on, belted. That's back. And that ball is out of here. That's his third home run of the game. Just like that, they move in front. It's 10-9. He's putting on 
on quite the show at the dish here in this one, and he's just so locked in with his swing, and he's just not missing right now. Three homer game, man, it's so special. And I tell you what, it's a lot of fun watching the now At the play, number 91. Javon Ward. The tying run at the plate. Swung on, popped up on the infield. Makes the grab for the second out. And he looked a little tentative on that swing. Almost like. And here is Noah Campbell. Noah Campbell. The pitch. This one popped up. You go, you go. Puts it away for the out. Got the pitch that he wanted. Just a little bit quick. Front shoulder open. Back here at the ballpark. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. And now Jacob Davis. Crushed in the air. Left center field. Way back there. No doubt about it. He'll circle the bases, his fourth home run of the game. And they're chipping away. It's 12-11. Just relentless. This team will not quit. Wow, this is awesome. I mean, a four-homer game, they're just so rare. They're so special and just so tough to pull off as well. Everything has to line up for you, but of course, you got to make it happen too. And these are the types of performances that people just don't forget, and it's definitely going to live on in history. So up next, Jacob Davis trying to do what no player has ever done at this level. He's looking for his fifth homer of the game. I never thought I'd see this moment. I mean, this is unbelievable. This guy gets a chance to hit his fifth home run. Whether he does it or not, this next at bat's a pretty special one. Oh, and this one's blasted. High and deep. It's on its way. Out of here. Ball game. An absolute blast to left. A walk-off win in the bottom of the ninth. homer is the kind of thing you dream about growing up you're in the backyard you're creating the most pressure-packed scenario and what do you do you come through with the big swing well he was living a childhood moment right there nice swing of the bat nice win for the team and our final 14 12 for chris singleton and our entire crew here at mlb the show thanks for stopping by i'm john chomby talk to you soon Four hours and 17 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely. And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Double A Baseball on the show, coming your way. It's the Biloxi Shuckers and the Chattanooga Lookouts. First pitch coming your way next. All right, just about ready for baseball. And on the hill, the big righty, Max Cranick. Really labored his last time out. Four plus innings, wasn't able to qualify for the win, but fortunately got a no decision and didn't take a loss. We'll see if he can get in the W column today. So two down, and next will be the cleanup hitter, Jacob Davis, coming off an incredible hitting performance yesterday. Gloves it on the dive. Throw to second, and very nicely done for the out. Through an inning, no score here on the show. Welcome back. Bottom of the inning. Here's the third baseman, Jacob Davis. 
It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe a bump. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. Got it! Climbs the wall and steals a home run. Rob's a potential <laughs> solo shot right there. That'll fire your team up, but even more so the player. I'm excited to see how they respond. So digging in, Jacob Leading Davis. For the lookout, the third baseman, Jacob Davis. Bennett back to work. Out towards left center, number 91 under it. And out number one on the grab. The offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some Back to the top of the lineup. Now, here is Noah Campbell. One for three. Come on now, get us two ball right here. you one. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Brown around third. Throw home. He beats it. And they take a three run lead. Well done. Drives in the run. Timing on the swing. Down the third baseman, the third Jacob baseman. Davis. Jacob Davis. Out towards right center. That's well struck. That one's back. And it's out of here. His 33rd homer of the year, and they cut into the lead. It's 4 2. Singy, he's got a nice hitting streak going, and he extends it another game with that swing. So locked in right now, Boog, and clearly it's not like he's just stringing singles together during this streak. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news, and all of a sudden, they're back in this ball game. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting, runs on the board. Key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. And your final 4-2. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. Here now our final line score. First for the victorious Shuckers, four runs on 11 hits, one error. And welcome back. Here's the third baseman, Jacob Davis. The third baseman, Jacob Davis. The pitch. There's a swing and a drive. That's back there. And that one's gone. Is 34th of the season, and we are starting over. It's 1 1. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. Well, he went up there 0 0, looking to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the base. Runner at first with two away. And now here is number 46. He's 0 for 1. On the ground. Can't field it cleanly. Really nice job of two strike hitting in that at bat. He got that front foot down and pitch wreck. The batter two outs, the nobody on. Second and baseman. now it's the switch hitting Isaac. second baseman, Isaac Collins. He was a strikeout victim his first time. On the ground to third. Fires across the diamond. That ends the frame. Three up, three down for him there. To the bottom of inning number four now. All tied, 1-1. One, one. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Jacob Davis. One for one so far today with a solo homer in his first at bat. He swings and fouls one off.
That one is absolutely belted. That's got a chance. And that one is gone. So he leaves the yard to left. And that gives him a lead. It's 3-1. swing on that one and everything was on time took a direct path to the ball excellent extension and just drove it out of here nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that so here's the cleanup hitter jacob davis this is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. That'll fire up the dugout. His third home run of the game, and they add a run. It's 6-1. That one just sounded different. Man, yeah, might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the booth. He's putting on quite the show at the dish here in this one. So now it's the four hole hitter, Jacob Davis. And a chance to make some history here, Chris. Yeah, he's homer three times so far, and now he gets another chance, at least we think. We'll see if the pitcher gives him anything to hit. It's so rare to see a three-homer performance, but even more special for that player to get another chance at the plate to do it again for four. Now fly ball to right center. Gray moving under this one. And that is that. So up next, Eric Brown Jr., one for three. One down, base is empty. To third. And there's two away. Now batting, the first baseman. I don't care if you're a top team or you're a middle of the pack team. Every ball club wants to be dominant at home. Winning a game like this just helps to boost the confidence and makes you look forward to coming out again for the next one. And your final six to two for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shopping. Thanks for joining us. The final line score for our ball game for the victorious lookout. Okay, all set to go. And yeah, the batter now, Noah Campbell. Hey, nobody away. That's to third, Davis. Whips it to first. Out. One out in the top of the first. Now the third baseman, Jacob Davis, baseman. caught everyone's attention yesterday afternoon with three homers. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. He flexes his power with that swing, his 37th homer of the year. It's 2-0. see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at bat you watch him from the on deck circle so when you step in the box you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at really good job by the hitter total conviction on that swing now it's going to be jacob davis he's already homered in this one it's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively but runs pretty well so when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone. Oh, this ball is crushed into left field. It's on its way and gone. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. And they add on. It's five zip. Low 
90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. It was like BP all over again. First and third, two away. Next to hit, Jacob Davis. Hit an absolute tape measure shot last time up. Swing and a high fly ball. Pretty well struck. Right field. Back there. And that one is out of here. He'll touch them all. His 39th home run of the season. It's 8-0. And the streak is alive. He's homered now in seven straight. Who does this guy think he is? Joey Votto or something? Man, that's ridiculous. He's putting on quite the show with the dish here in this one, and he's just so locked in with this swing, and he's just not missing right now. Three homer game, man, it's so special. And I tell you what, it's a lot of fun watching him pull it off as well. Here's the third baseman, Jacob Davis. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. This one drilled to left. No doubt about it as they add on more. Gone. He circles the bases. Home run number 40 on the year. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 10-0. He put a charge into that one. That was a lightning swing right there. No doubt about it. This is awesome. I mean, a four-homer game, they're just so rare, they're so special, and just so tough to pull off as well. Everything. Now and next will be the cleanup hitter, Jacob Davis. Coming off an absolute bomb in his last at bat. Swing, and this one's crushed. No doubt about it. Grand slam. His fifth home run of the game, and they boost their lead. It's 14-5. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. Well, he comes through big time with the grand slam here, but you also got to give some credit to the guys ahead of him. Good at bats to get on base and really set the table for a very special moment in this one. Well, when you win by nine runs, you have plenty of insurance runs. It's a huge confidence boost when you can just put that many runs up on the board. And I'll tell you what, the next game starter saying, hey, I hope you guys save some runs for me. I want to get a win as well. 14-5 is your final. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long.